all right guys welcome back to another quick play first i want to start this one out by saying thank you so much to everybody that stuck around i know i've been gone a really really long time i appreciate you guys hanging out sticking with me lots of subscribers to the channel if you're new let me go over this real quick and we'll let you know how this works so basically these quick plays the way they happen is I take a game randomly from the play store or that's been suggested to me I do a initial playthrough and record all of my initial reactions right off the bat I have no um, go through I don't go through and play these uh, beforehand or anything they're fresh looks right at the time of recording so it gives my honest opinion when I go through these games all right so the first one that we're going to do on our big grand return to the YouTubes is Arknights. So let's go ahead and get into it. First thing I want to say so far, the music in this game, just sitting on the, intro, the uh, intro screen here, is phenomenal. I love it so far. So let's go ahead and sign in as a guest and we'll get going. Arknights. Hope you guys can hear that background music. Um, it's definitely a jam, that's for sure. Yes, I've read all the usual agreements, all that good stuff. Who am I? Let's tell them who we are. Alright. So let's get going here. What have we got? Oh, that's ominous. Oh, I have to click. Ha! There's an auto button. Like that for text. As long as it doesn't run too fast, because sometimes then it's hard to read it. I'm not going to read it out loud, but I will let you guys read through that if you would like. I will say one thing right off the bat, uh, I wouldn't mind some uh, voice work done here, but uh, not always required for things like this, but uh, it does kind of help out a little bit. Well, that doesn't sound good at all. So far, the artwork in the game seems pretty solid. Uh, like I said earlier, the soundtrack is pretty solid from what little bit I've heard at the moment. Very interesting. I'm very curious to see what's going on here. Take my hand. Not creepy at all. Love the art style. Looks great. Looks like they put a lot of time into it. Now, from what I understand, this game is somewhat of a tower defense type scenario, so we'll see a little bit more once we get past this. Alright, for the uh, sake of the review, it looks like this is a little bit lengthy. I'm going to go ahead and skip through it just so we can get to the gameplay and see what it really looks like. From my understanding, though, uh, from what I've seen so far from that little bit, is this game does have a fantastic story attached to it. So, if you're definitely interested in that kind of thing, go check this out. Take a look at it. Alright. 
enemy will show up from here. Got it. So blue side's the enemy. So you can kind of see the tower defense coming into play a little bit here. Be prepared. Got it. Okay, so no, actually I was wrong. Our enemies are coming from the red side. Got it. This is the enemy we must defeat. Makes sense. Still that fantastic soundtrack in the background. Number above represents current availability. Got it. So it looks like you can only deploy units based on how many points you have. There's a cost associated. Makes perfect sense in these type of games. Alright. So it looks like the points and the amount of stuff that you can deploy at a time will increase as the game goes on. Alright, so it wants us to drag a character out here. There's a little bit of voice work there. Excellent. Animations look pretty smooth. Very nice. Watch out, a new enemy has appeared. Alright, so it looks like we get to deploy our second character here. So let's throw them out. Do you like the little chance that they throw out every time you drop a new character? That is excellent. Now from my understanding this does have some gacha components to it so there will be some collection of characters and things like that. Looks like there is a speed up as well. And number of enemies defeated. Okay, so it looks like there's so many per level, if I read that correctly. A little bit more story going on here. Again, um, the artwork that I've seen so far, I absolutely love it. It is great. Alright. Level 2. However, their movements right now are orderly and disciplined. So it looks like we've got a couple of entry points here. It may not all take uh, come into effect right off the bat, so that's pretty good. We do have those two up front. Looks like our characters do have a... Let's see. Can use more weapons, damage nearby enemy at the same time. However, activating so many weapons together is not easy. Game wouldn't be any fun if it gave you all the stuff right off the bat. May review her statistics at any time. All right, here we go. Got our block. Withdraw button, so it allows us to pull us pull them out. There's DP cost for returning operatives. Got it. And there's our ability. Excellent. Still loving the animations. The effects are solid. The music still fantastic. The tutorial seems pretty on point. It doesn't really uh, try and hide things from you like some games do. In trouble. Protected by thick armor. Caster Myers can penetrate enemy defenses. 
So it looks like there are, as you would expect in a tower defense game, there are multiple types of enemies. Um, some that are vulnerable to particular types of damage, some that are not vulnerable to that particular type of damage. In this case, melee, for example. So it's nice that there's a good variety there. Um, which means you're going to have to be a little smart about how you place your characters out on the field. And that's what they're telling us now. So pay attention to your strategy. Watch where you're putting people. Everybody, every one of your characters is a little bit different. We have more serious threats coming. All right, so it looks like we've got another one coming through here. Now there's a problem here, the way this is stacked up. Enemies coming from behind are well-equipped. They can deal some serious damage. Deploy a defender operative, or operator rather. English is a hard language. All right, so we've got some guys here. It looks like we have somebody with a gun. A couple of guns. Uh-oh. They're coming from all sides now. Game, uh, as far as performance, runs fine, runs fantastic in an emulator. Not sure how it'll do on a tablet or a phone, but from uh, a couple of people that I've heard who have been playing this, it runs just fine. Um, the animations, like I said earlier, are very smooth. I haven't seen any major issues. I suppose I could trigger this ability to speed this up a bit. Alright, there we go. Um, gameplay so far seems very well structured very easy to get a handle on it's not too complicated the tutorial doesn't leave anything um, really too much to the guessing game uh, a lot of games that do that I really cannot stand having to guess what certain features do because the uh, tutorial doesn't really tell you or describe to you what those items do um, and that bothers me there are a few uh, RPGs out there that have come out lately that have some pieces that aren't really well articulated in the um, in the tutorial So uh, stuff like that kind of drives me nuts doctor. I'm a doctor. You see that dr. Morgan meat. Look at that. That's amazing I didn't even go to school and I'm a doctor. It's fantastic All right, so we'll get through this little bit of story. Lots of variation in the characters too. That's super important in games like this. You don't want all of your characters to look identical. That's really annoying. All right, so let's let's go ahead and click through this and let's do um, maybe one more round. Uh, let's go ahead and hit skip here. I know some of you may be screaming in the comments right now um, about me skipping the story, but for the purpose of this play, really we want to see what the gameplay looks like. Um, I know I understand that the story is a big part of that, um, but I only have so much time per video to kind of go through these, so I want to make sure that we get a little bit of everything. So we've seen a little bit of the story. We've seen a little bit of the gameplay, which looks fantastic. We've seen the graphics, the artwork, the soundtrack, all those kind of pieces. We want to make sure we give you kind of a, a good overview of a little bit of everything that this game has to offer. All right, so this looks like our main kind of character screen here. Um, let's see what we've got. Uh, squads, operator management. So I'm guessing you can kind of build your own um, character squads together. And it looks like you might be able to recruit. I'm guessing there are microtransactions in some form. Yeah, here we go. Very rare resource. Alright, so let's go ahead and draw one. 
see what we get. Well done animations there. And let's get the bag open. Very nice. There's there's some of that voice work coming into play. Love it. Very nice. Very nice. All right. So let's go take a look at our squads. So yeah, this is what I was talking about before, where you can assign different characters to um, to your team or squad in this case. Got some more voice voiceover work there. Excellent. Very happy with that. Let's start with the basics. Nice little map background there. All right, so let's go ahead and do one more mission and then we'll call it quits on this one. I think we've seen a good chunk of what this game has to offer. So far, my opinions on this are uh, highly positive. I would definitely recommend picking this up and checking it out long term. Um, again, with these reviews that I do, these are real quick kind of brief looks at them just to kind of show pieces of the game and kind of give you my opinions right off the bat. definitely some interesting story going on here I would definitely be interested to see where that story goes um, in the long term and through a proper play varying characters varying styles varying artworks love it excellent Do you think these story pages could use a little bit of voice work with them? Uh, some of these main these main story panels like this don't seem to have any, um, and I get that that's kind of a, a a time consuming and a complicated part of development to get that in there. Um, but I do think uh, this game would benefit from it. Though that said, what I've seen so far, that being missing does not take away from this game at all. All right, so let's go ahead and move through. We'll get one more match in before we let everybody go. And that'll put us at about the right time frame. I typically try to keep these somewhere between... Sorry, I was talking over. Uh, I typically try to put these somewhere between the... Um, 15 minute and 20 minute range. So we're getting close to uh, not being of, uh, of time. I guess I can only... Yeah, okay, so I see I can only put those in the... Um, within those spaces. Got it. And then can I... So he's an archer, so let's kind of put him... I'm going to stick him kind of out here. We want him to kind of focus that direction. Excellent. So far, so good. Can all be that easy, can it? I'm gonna guess. No. Uh, let's see. Where do I want to put you? I'm kind of thinking maybe like right in here, possibly. Okay. We'll face it that direction. Just in case anything happens to kind of break through. And then we'll put this guy down here and kind of try in this direction. That should give us pretty overall good coverage. Uh, again, I'm just kind of playing around. I haven't read any of the stats or anything on these characters yet, so I'm just kind of taking best guess here. Okay, 
But so far it seems to be working out okay. And there we go. That was the last one. Fantastic. All right. So while the story plays out in the background, I'm going to say thank you guys for coming by and visiting. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you are glad that I have finally returned. Uh, I know that I'm looking forward to putting out a lot more content in the coming future. Now, if you guys would do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the like button. Click on the notification bell if you would. That would help me out immensely. I appreciate it so much, and I hope to see you guys again. Have a good one.